So my fund is diversified by location, type of investing, and style of investing. So we, the money is deployed in San Francisco high-end properties. There's always demand for high-end properties. We got seven properties um, in uh, San Francisco. Uh, I can give you the addresses, 86th Avenue, which will be on the market next month for like 6 million. Um, uh, 866 Carolina Street, San Francisco, beautiful view. We took this property, two bedroom, one bath, one floor, dug the, the um, basement down and created space and actually flattened the roof and created uh, another floor. So we took a two bedroom, one bathroom, made it four bedroom, three bathroom. Um, Bought it 2.6 million, we're doing work for like a million or so, and it's gonna sell at a very good price. Pacheco, 266 Pacheco, this one we bought it, was a big lot. It's very seldom where you find something like this, San Francisco. We're rehabbing the main property and we divided it and we got approval to sell the lot separately. All the profit is gonna be in the lot. Some profit will be in the house. It's gonna be a killer deal. 120 Brewster, this has been the longest rehab property we've ever done because I bought it from a guy who had bad reputation from the market. In the market, he had tricked the city several times and um, the city caught him. Like he would get a permit to fix the kitchen, then he would do more work in the house. Well, they caught him. They made him spend millions of dollars to um, penalties. So I bought the, that property from him and it took forever to clean it up with the city, with the neighbors and all this. And now it's gonna be done. Actually, January should be on the market. Um, um, 154 56 Liberty Street. That's a gorgeous property. It's going to be an amazing deal. It's going to be done uh, next year. And then two trophy properties uh, worth about 25 to 30 million each, which is uh, 2725 Broadway and 2760 Vallejo. These are like top of the line. These are right across the street. Actually, uh, Broadway, literally, the next block is Nancy Pelosi. You can see her from the balcony. Nancy Pelosi, you know who she is, um, and uh, it's right across the street from uh, this guy from uh, anyway some some billionaires. I don't know. <laughs> I don't keep up with these guys in the high tech, but anyway. So this is some group of properties we do. There's always demand for these. There's, I mean, just you can make so much profit in these with less work but you have experts that have been with the same team for a decade. We also do developments from the ground up in, um, in Florida, east of Sarasota, and uh, these are very profitable. We're, we're doing 10 at a time. Uh, next year, we're gonna do 20 to 30 at a time. And we just get, these are like, what I call them popcorn, popcorn. Like you, you just pop them up and then they sell right away. You get the land, you get the entitlement. You can like literally 10 at a time. We submit for 10 entitlements. We do the, we go vertical and then we sell them. So the total costs about uh, 350 to 400. They sell at about slightly less than 500,000. Uh, lenders, the lenders, they love what I've been doing in California and they want to do the stuff in, Calif in Florida. So the lender from California got approval to loan in Florida just to work with us because they know we're going to expand to do, I don't know, maybe hopefully 50 per year. I, I'm very cautious about developments from the ground up, but Florida is an exception. That area has a lot of demand, constant demand. And eventually I may do a training for people to come and see how we do developments. I think that's one of the things that we want to do because I find it very difficult for anybody to learn how to do developments from the ground up. And if you're sitting here and you're saying, oh, geez, I'm too old to learn something now like this from the ground, learn it for your kids. Because if your kids know how to do developments and they do one development per year, they're set for life. You owe it to your family, you owe it to your kids. My brother does a lot of developments in California. Uh, you can sit with him for five minutes, he'll tell you all the disaster stories he has to fight the neighbors and this and that, the city. And that. It's just too much going on. But in Florida, it's a lot easier than pro business. The third thing we do is we have bunch of properties in uh, Puerto Rico because I personally have a large portfolio in Puerto Rico and already have my team. I moved a lot of money in Puerto Rico right after the hurricane um, in 2017 and we bought seven, seven buildings that year in Puerto Rico under the fund. And um, 
And those are, we don't buy them and sell them. We don't build them or anything. They're already existing historic building, two, 300 years old, whatever. We rehab them, reposition them, and cash flow downstairs, the mixed use downstairs, commercial, upstairs, Airbnb. So the fund has these three positions. Plus we do the, the um, single tenant buildings with students. So that's where your money will be invested. Unlike other funds, I am like a mutual fund. It's like investing, you're buying shares in the fund and your money is secured against all these assets. We have over 100 million in assets, way more than that, but I don't like to quote exact numbers because whenever this gets played, I may have less or I may have more. And since I deal with the SEC and we're very cautious and we've been audited before and we've been interviewed by the SEC, we know exactly how they work and we're very cautious and that's why we I consider ourselves and the team, including Ashley here and the attorneys we deal with, experts in setting you up with a real estate fund. Or if you want to invest with us, you're in good hands. We've been doing this for over a decade. I've been teaching it since 2017 or something. 2017? 2007. Yes. 2007. <laughs> a decade of mistakes.